Hello all dinosaurs, I am Dan and today we have a very exciting video. We have 35 different species of carnivorous dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. So let's get right into it. First one right here is actually a Majungasaurus. Alright, this is a Soundstrike figure. Okay, so that's our first carnivorous dinosaur of the day. Next up, let's take a look at this. We have an Irritator. Okay, looks really good. And next up, we have a Tabosaurus. Alright, and this Tabosaurus is actually a, um, what do you call this? Massive Biter Tabosaurus. Looks really good. And it's closely related to a T-Rex. Next up, we have a Cryolophosaurus. Alright. And this is another Soundstrike figure. One of the first few Soundstrike figures. Next, we have a Quetzalcoatlus. And this is a prehistoric flying reptile. If you take a look at the wings, you are able to move them. So this is the Mega Dewer Attack Quetzalcoatlus with two different functions. One will be able to flap the wings. Alright, let's move on. Next up, we have an Albertosaurus right over here, which is another dinosaur which is closely related to a T-Rex. So this is a beautiful battle damaged Albertosaurus. You can actually open its wound right over here to review the injury and of course the internal parts of the body. Okay, looks really good. Beautiful Albertosaurus. Next up, we have a Seat Mycorum. Yep, this is a brand new species. Okay, and this is my first figure of a Seat Mycorum. Looks really nice. Looks really huge and um, looks like a powerful predator. Next up, we have the meat-eating bull, Conotaurus. This guy needs no introduction. Okay, this is the control and conquer. Carnotaurus. It comes with massive roaring sounds, which are so so cool. Next up, we have a Baryonyx right over here, and this is the Baryonyx from the Lava Search playset. Beautiful Baryonyx, and this dinosaur is actually closely related to um, the Spinosaurus. And over here, we have a Suchomimus, which is another. Um, dinosaur which is also closely related to the Spinosaurus and the Suchomimus is known as the Crocodile Mimic that's right it definitely looks like a modern day crocodile okay next up we have a Concavenator I do not know the nickname of this dinosaur so if you guys are able to check it comment down below what is the nickname of this um, Concavenator and this is a dual attack figure, so it is able to move its jaw and its tail as well. Looks really nice. Okay, next up, and um, let's take a look at this T-Rex right over here. T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrant Lizard King, or rather known as the King of Tyrant Lizard. Um, needs no introduction, right? Rexy. And it's definitely one of my most favorite dinosaur. I mean, it is my most favorite dinosaur. Okay, let's move on. Let's take a look at this. We have a Ceratosaurus. And this is a... I mean, the nickname of this dinosaur is known as... The Horned Lizard. Yeah, that's right. This is a Rorivor from Second Wave and it's still working well, the sounds. Okay. Next up, let's take a look at this. This is not exactly a dinosaur, but more of a prehistoric marine reptile. And of course, you guys know this, Mosasaurus. And the nickname of this figure, I mean this you know, prehistoric creature is known as the Lizard of the Muse River. That's right. Next up, we have a Matrial Cantosaurus. That's right. Another carnivorous theropod looks beautiful, and this is a Rorivor. Yeah, this is actually a repainted version. Love this a lot. 
Next up, we have another, not a dinosaur, but a prehistoric animal. And this is known as the Sarcosuchus. That's right, this is a massive biter, Sarcosuchus. You're able to rotate the tail. Um, at the same time, the neck will move and the jaw will snap. Beautiful figure. Next up, we have an Allosaurus. Allosaurus is also very commonly known. You have seen him or rather seen her in Jurassic World. Actually, the Allosaurus in Jurassic World was a juvenile Allosaurus, which means it is a young Allosaurus. Check this out, okay? Allosaurus is known as a different lizard. Okay, let's move on. Next, let's take a look at some hybrids. Hybrids meaning they have a mix of DNA from different dinosaurs and animals. And of course, we have the Indoraptor right over here. And this is the super poseable Indoraptor. And the Indoraptor actually contains the DNA of a Velociraptor and of course the Indominus Rex. So it's really powerful. I'm pretty sure there are much more you know, DNA from different animals. Of course, we have the Indominus Rex and this is the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. This is one beautiful, amazing um, Indominus Rex. I'm gonna do a repaint on this, okay? A repaint on this. So I'm very, very excited, okay? So let's move on to our next one. Let's take a look. Um, all the remaining dinosaurs and prehistoric animals, they are, you know, mostly small little figures. So we have a Pteranodon. This is a, um, what you call this? Um, yeah, this is a, I'm not too sure. Is this attack pack? No, definitely not the attack pack, but this is a Pteranodon. And the Pteranodon is known as the Toothless Wing. Okay, next up. We have a Ornithlastes right over here. Looks beautiful. This is a pretty new figure, a pretty new addition to my collection. Next up, let's take a look. What is this? We have a Ramphorhynchus. Yes, that's right, Ramphorhynchus. Another prehistoric flying reptile. Okay. Let's take a look at the Lophosaurus. This Dilophosaurus was actually a pretty new addition to my collection. I got this like one or two weeks back. It comes with this very cool action. So once you push the tail upwards, the frill will just open up and the jaw will just, um, just snap right open as well. So Dilophosaurus is known as the Double Crested Lizard, another pretty dangerous carnivorous dinosaur. Dimetrodon, not a dinosaur, okay, but it is known as a prehistoric cynocete. Um, it's very, very beautiful, this figure. Definitely one of the best um, Savage Strike figures out there. Okay, Dimetrodon. Looks really beautiful and it reminds me of a modern day Komodo dragon. All right, what is this? We have a Dimorphodon, okay. Another prehistoric flying reptile which is really popular. And this is a Proceratosaurus. Yep, that's right. Another carnivorous theropod. That's right. And hopefully they can actually come up with a bigger figure of this. That will be really fantastic. Next up, we have a Monolophosaurus. Yes, this is known as a Monolophosaurus. And this is a better damage version, which means you are able to see its wound right here by just tapping it. So you can have a battle with other dinosaurs and just imagine the Proceratosaurus landing a bite on the Monolophosaurus. That will be uh, pretty awesome as you are able to uh, simulate the injury that it has um, um, sustained from the attack by the Proceratosaurus. Next up, we have Blue. Yes, Velociraptor Blue. You guys should be super familiar with this um, carnivorous dinosaur. Velociraptor is actually known as the Speedy Tiff, or you can actually call it the Swift Caesar. Basically, it means that this you know, dinosaur is a very, very fast 
dinosaur and it is actually a thief that goes around snatching um, maybe like food from other dinosaurs or maybe like eggs yep that's right next up we have a tapi jara which is another um, prehistoric flying reptile looks really beautiful if you take a look at the crest you're able to see its different colors so the colors of a flying creature like this could be used um, for mating purposes which means that it is able to attract um, um, attract the different flying reptiles from the opposite sex uh, I mean the same species of flying reptiles next up we have a postosuchus which is another prehistoric animal okay it's not exactly a dinosaur but look at this it looks really beautiful it looks like a modern day crocodile okay and this is a savage strike figure which means you're able to move its jaw by pushing its tail next up we have a Silarus. i don't have much information about this little figure right here but i mean this is a basically a attack pack and um, yeah, Silarus looks like a raptor to me. I don't have much information about this dinosaur for now, but you know, hopefully in the next video, I'll be able to tell you more. Next up, we have a Mononychus. Mononychus definitely reminds us, or rather reminds me of a modern day ostrich. Yeah, that's right. Modern day ostrich. Um, it could be a kind of, uh, it could be an omnivore, which means it may be able to feed on you know plants i am not too sure but this is how i guess cause you know this these are actually birds so they may feed on some they might have fed on some fruits probably probably okay next up we have a plesiosaurus right here and this is definitely a prehistoric sea creature looks really beautiful there are actually two different plesiosaurus and um yes i really love this this paint scheme is nice yep that's right let's take a look at our next figure yes this is the latest edition this is actually known as an alio ramus yes and the nickname of this is known as a different branch um and it is actually a tyrannosaur which means it calm it comes from the same family as the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, they're all Tyrannosaurs. Okay, so if we can do a Tyrannosaur collection, we can definitely add this one in. Because we have Alioramus, we have um, Tabosaurus, we have Albutosaurus. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And we have many other you know, figures from other brands as well, which we can do a Tyrannosaur figure. And what is this? We have and Herarosaurus right here. So yep, there you go. So these are the different carnivorous, you know, dinosaurs and um, prehistoric animals. 35 different of them. Yeah, roughly about 35 of them. So on Saturday, I may do, I might do a um, video on 35, maybe maybe not so, so many, because the herbivorous dinosaurs, we do not have so many of them. But stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a hobby verse video really soon. Okay, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching this. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.